Oh well. Uh, I'm just gonna get started. If it fi if it gets figured out. Um. Oh. MediaCom. Thanks. Oh well. I don't know why Discord is being so terrible lately, but every time we've tried Discord voice chat lately, it's been it's been poopy. It really has been. Which is so weird. We've we've done like how many? How many how many board game nights? I wanna say like ten. And it's never been like this. I think we've done I think it's been over a year since we've done and I don't think we've ever had this issue, but sometimes People join, it just doesn't... They just can't hear us talk, and... It's weird. There's Capitalist. <laughs> Level difference is... A bit of a thing, but oh well. Hopefully we'll, like, it'll even out as we play, I guess. Um, how do I set to ready? Oh, there we go. I have to just... I just have to wait for you. Alright. Making- hosting rooms for other people seems neat. Like, if it's for your friends, there's no countdown timer. You can just wait for as long as you need to. That's awesome. It seems to be a pretty big- oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the netcode for this game, not- not too great. I don't know if this is Mediacom's fault. The, the bitrate isn't dying, at least. I mean, and not any more than it already was. Hmm. Well, oh well. <laughs> I might have to stream single player instead then. I kind of wish it at least gave you some kind of like ping indicator saying who is the issue, because I have no idea if this is my fault with Mediacom, or if it's the server, or if it's one of you two, or. I have no idea. I can tell you it ain't my fault. High <laughs> FPS gameplay. No, see, this way you get more frame, you get more seconds per frame. This is the way the pros do it. This is a tool-assisted speedrun. We're gonna do this, you know, you gotta count, you count it by frames, you don't count it by seconds. So this is world record pace, actually. You don't understand. You're ignorant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're never gonna beat this hunt. Guys, I can't self-terminate. I can't, I can't end the game. <laughs> There's no option. Okay, I'm just gonna close. I'm just gonna close the game and see what happens, because it'll take us like 20 minutes to beat that one boss. Oh, frame it's A network error has occurred. Yeah, that's that's me closing. <laughs> Once again, I've exhibited the alpha move of closing the game <laughs> while it's in progress. Just like Borderlands. You can't lose if you close the game. Facts. Alright. Actually, one of you host a game. Maybe maybe that'll fix it. I have no idea. I'll give it a shot. What's weird is it seems like in this game, you're all synced. So, like, if somebody lags, all of you lag. Instead of somebody just, like, you know, warping around. You know, there's no stuttering or anything like that. It's just... <laughs> everyone is in perfect sync, and so it sucks for everyone, which is very... Democratic, I guess, but it's also, it's also really painful. Um, how do I... Oh, right, the quest board. If old flow frame rates are our program remove, I'm getting my old graphics card out, yes. It turns out that a Radon 150, just a 150, is the ideal. Is, is the peak of gaming. Wait, how do I join? Friend match. Oh, here we go. Perry has one. I don't see Capitalist anymore. Did I forget to- oh, I did. Thanks, son, for posting the thinger. I forgot. I don't know where Cap went. Hey, farmer. Oh, you got fancy gear. You got the weird owl thing. It's apparently an owl, not- I thought it was a koala. It still looks more like a koala to me than an owl, but... 
Yeah, I have no idea. I just think it's awesome. I've been very miserly with my things, and I've only gotten... I got everything through Rarity 3 because it was, like, super cheap, and then I've only bought Mage Gear so far. It seems like money is... or the apples are less of a problem. Alright, this looks much better. Is it crappy for you, or is it good? That's good for me. Hmm. Though Kaplos does have, like, one byte per second download sometimes. <laughs> Um, it I know he said it was going to take a long time for it to download on his internet, so maybe, maybe that's the problem. I was speaking to 3D, uh, 3DFX, um, uh, Dos Nostalgic on, um, Twitter posted a, a great, what am I doing? I should be using the time beam. Um, posted a good, like, 90s early 2000s video card um, marketing material thing. After we're out of this battle, I'll show you it. It's quality. I'm sure I can find it. Yeah, I got kicked. I think my connection was screwing you up. Oh, no, I was closing the game. I guess you couldn't hear. And I closed the game because... Cause... It was going to take about 20 minutes to fight that 3 minute battle. <laughs> it is running better now, so I, I think it might have been your connection though. Though I'm not entirely sure, because I, I kind of feel like it might just be you get bad matches and just it's the server's fault or something. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, because it doesn't show you. There's no like indicator of the guilty party. <laughs> his open screaming mouth as the as the uh, meteor comes in. Big move. Oh, what am I doing? You gotta freeze him. Yeah, you can freeze them while they're in the stunning mode, actually, and it's uh, usually what I do. And freezing is pretty much always the best option because it freezes the timer too. What was responsible for the bad internet? She get a reg bad of shame. <laughs> It seems kind of Kirby that no one is truly at fault, but at the same time, I would, <laughs> I would kind of like to know if I'm ruining things for others or if someone else is ruining. <laughs> Scarlet letter, but it's an M for Mediacom. Yes. The stickers are a neat feature. I might actually buy some of those after I'm done buying <laughs> the gear. Yeah, I'm in the same camp as that. I really wish they'd just cost the shards. I would throw shards at them like nothing else, but... Gem apples are a bit too much. Also, I confirmed this game is super quiet. Um, I played this game... Uh-oh, I hope that doesn't disconnect. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We already beat the thing. Um, but I played Muse Dash after this game, and I, like, went deaf because it was so loud. Because I had raised my, com my TV volume. And I switch over to Muse Dash, and it's suddenly insanely loud. Speaking of Muse Dash, we'll probably stream that uh, at some point. It has new songs. It has um, it has that new that um, nice loading screen on the mobile version. I think the versions are all totally in sync now because there's some there's some nice like you know accessibility or like gameplay features that uh, the mo phone version had that got moved over. I... Anyone in particular you want to do next? Um, I guess you can't tell which ones I haven't beaten. Um, they were level 28, that's all I remember. I haven't beaten any of the level 28 ones, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> More Muse Dash streams for me to fail to recognize the audio is off. <laughs> now, hopefully that should never happen again. I still don't know what happened there. That was... Or, no, I do... I think I know what happened there. I was recording through the wrong... thing. Oh, Medicom, don't you... don't you dare. Mediacom is... I'm, I'm honestly amazed that media, it wasn't Mediacom's fault that we were having the problems. Freaking stunner of the century. By the way, can you set what your teammates are, the AI teammates are, in online matches like this? I've just always played with four people, so I don't actually I believe know. so, yeah. I think you could change their roles, yeah. 
I usually just go all beam mage because <laughs> because beam mage. Ted Cruz throttle in my connection. Just personally here. Sitting on my router. I'd like to have a passionate debate with this router. What boys are available to play as? Um, there's the Bean Boy, which both of us are. Um, there's the Hammer Boy, and there is the Doctor Boy. And uh, Sword Boy, of course. I believe his name is Zelda. Why does Ted Cruz sound like Kermit? Why does Kermit sound like Kermit? At this point, just whenever I need a voice, because like people don't understand sarcasm, so if I need to do a voice that I need to say like stupid things in, just Kermit comes out. Because if I say something obviously sarcastic, people like think I'm being serious. But nobody thinks I'm serious if I do a Kermit voice, so that's kind of... That's kind of how Kermit initially became a thing. Then just because it's very easy to do. <laughs> Everyone is Kermit. Unless I have a specifically in, you know, intended other voice to do. Like this. It's it's just gonna come out Kermit. About 80% of the time. I'm not entirely sure. I think the more that you freeze time on an enemy, I think the amount of you know, bean juice is required goes up to freeze time. It's a terrible sentence, but I think you know what I mean. I think it just needs more bean. I've actually found out that the second level beam is probably the most efficient. Yeah, Time-wise? Maybe. I don't remember something about... I don't know. I usually well, if, no if nothing else, damage-wise, because it does more damage per second, basically. Um, and it, yeah, I think it freezes that... at a similar frequency. Yeah, I think it, does, it might do more damage per second. Am I saying bean? Yes, bean mage. You use the power of bean to, to freeze time. Beans are very powerful, that's why I think about them. Thinking about them beans. Finding a relevant image here. I love the level up quotes. Oh, here we go. Do you want to do one you haven't beaten yet? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, I guess I can. I'll take. I guess I'll host so I, we can find what I need easier. Sure. Just posted a relevant image into the chat. We said bean juice, I immediately thought cough. No, bean juice for like slowness. But you can have bean juice if you want. You can do anything in Zombocom. Alright. I like this online thing. This is probably... Well, <laughs> it's the only time Kirby has ever been on. Well, I guess the first Kirby one of this. But it's much better than that. Bean juice for slowly makes equally as much sense. <laughs> oh, you can change, teammate. Uh, change. The breezy mage. There's a bunch of pre-made um, Kirby units. If you do the bring offline adventures thing, I found. Oh yeah, I hadn't checked that out yet. It's a bunch of... I think they're, they're still scaled to your level. It's kind of neat. There's a bunch of... Uh, Possibilities with the different outfits. You get like the lonely mage, and the, the funny doctor, and things like that. Which sound like Doctor Who enemies or protagonists, possibly. By the way, that little slip through thing um, that I just did, very useful if you're not using it. Um, if an enemy's charging towards you, you can almost always slip through them with that. Bigger enemies, it can be tricky to do. Most dash attacks will do that, too. Funny doctor. Yeah, it's that guy, it's the- oh, frick. what's his name? Mr. Cardboard Mask Man from, um, Guilty Gear? 
I have like three Guilty Gear games and I've never properly learned to play any of them. There we go. It's one of my least favorite characters solely because he's allowed to block. Which is very rude. You talking about a paper bag? Yeah, the Guilty Fa Gear dude with the bag. He's yeah, Faust. Oh, yeah, 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 Faust. Yeah, he fights with a scalpel. Yeah. I've only played as him and May a little bit. There was a... There was um, a PSP, I think? Guilty Gear game? That was had like a beat-em-up mode. I played a bit of that. That was kind of neat for like an extra mode. I have and have basically not played Guilty Gear Exerd. Which I think is like officially pronounced Exard, but I refuse. I, I refuse. I forgot Doug existed. Why are we talking about Doug in the chat? I look over... <laughs> I leave you alone for one minute and you're talking about Doug. You broke my grill? You broke my grill? Farmer Lesbian, I have seen the Steven Universe movie. It's oh, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> I saw somebody post, uh, like, twitter.com.jpg image of somebody like posting hey i found a brick and then like the reply is like um i rate the steven universe movie six out of ten terrible it had a music it has a musical number very much bad it's like i guess like this this tweet is about a brick and that's twitter for you doug funny is a menace to society Oomst? Oh, I thought we were talking about Doug, the Doug Doug, which is like Dig Doug, but better or worse. I don't know. Who's Doug Funny? I mean, that's presumably someone that I would be better off not knowing. You can you can kind of tell the moving back and forth on the plane thing was designed for the 3DS. It's kind of Doug hard. Doug Funny's from Doug, dude. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell where they are. Not that I ever played the 3DS one with 3D on, Al. Doug? Wait. Doug's name is Doug Funny? Yeah, it totally is. What? What's wrong with his family? They were funny? <laughs> GG to the lonely mage. And the other mage. Yeah, whatever, we don't need him. By the way, I'm concerned is, like, Bonkers, like, has a purple shirt, but he's got, like, a purple pompadour, but if you look closely, like, the hat, the helmet is hair. It's like a pompadour of hair, so, like, is, is the shirt also hair? I don't, I don't know if the world is ready to know. I'm getting levels for like crazy. <laughs> the online, if you play a... Well, we are playing like level 28 things, I'm level 22. Yeah, but honestly, I like to use up my uh, my regular story stuff and then go online because I'll eventually get a level. That's usually the way I do it, though. I think you, you level faster online, really. Um, I usually just do that because I feel like I will like not have gear and stuff to do things because it does give you levels like I, I was like level 21 when I unlocked the level 20 28 bosses though they don't the, the boss levels don't seem very accurate they seem easier than they advertise because I only have <laughs> you're the only one over leveled and we're still having a pretty decent time yeah it's not so much that they're terrible to beat at all it's just hard to get the higher ranks, that's all. Oh. Yeah, in this game, um, I'm just I'm used to the three DS game and like you you're never gonna platinum rank your first try. You just kinda have to go back like ten or so levels later with some way better equipment, so I'm just I'm perfectly okay with getting even a bronze. As long as I beat it and I get that experience, I don't really care. I'm mostly just trying to burn that, you know, team experience to get a level up so I can do some story. I do think that the, the co-op, I would, I would not have expected that to fix the game as well as it does, but putting the co-op in this way where it has its separate experience and kind of has its own reason to play it, that, 
makes it so much more engaging and like the, it fills in the gaps of the levels because like in the 3ds one you would be like dicking around and playing the same level like 10 or so times to level up and it would be kind of like oh this sucks and at least thus far i've never had anything close to that happen i've never had to repeat a level unless i wanted to I pretty much had the same experience, yeah. Did you play the 3DS one? I didn't, actually. This is my first time playing anything like this. Yeah, I, think, I think most people slept on the 3DS one, and honestly, it was perfectly fine to do so. It, I did eventually beat it, like, a year after it came out. In fact, it was one of the last things I ever played on the 3DS. Um, I did play Hey Pikmin after it. Which is technically the last 3DS game that I've played. I've played Elite Beat Agents, which is hard as hell, by the way. I had... I mean, it's a rhythm game. I expected it to be hard, but, like... Even on easy mode, the, the later levels are just nuts. By the way, that game is literally Osu. I don't know if it's, like, made by the same people as Osu, but, like, gameplay-wise, it is Osu. All girls do these days is eat hot chip and lie. Yes, that's true. I like how you have like the numerology conspiracy theory hat and we just have like the regular star hats. I recommend sticking with EBA. The last level is amazing. I've beaten, I want to say four or five levels. I haven't gotten very far by any means. I helped somebody commit dozens of traffic violations. Um, I helped someone babysit two small children. And um, I forget what else I did to be perfectly honest. I helped somebody paint a totally not Mona Lisa. And that's all I remember. It's been a bit since I poked at it. Romancy level. What I just want to know is like, where where does the elite beat agents? Where did the where does the funder funding come from? Where's what's the um, what's the protocol of who gets help? Do you just have to yell help in the very specific manner that everyone does in that game? Is that just the secret? By the way, I don't know if this is still the case, but um, Beam is 1.5 times more effective on flying enemies, and I think, at least in the 3DS one, a jumping normal enemy counted as flying for that time they're in the air, so with the some good timing, here. you could get some good uh, freezes off. Yeah, it's the same here. Yeah. That's right, Parker. Can you hear him? Hello? That's right? That's right, boys. Mondo cool. That's right. Yes, yes. No. He does these whisper meows sometimes. I don't know if you can hear them on the mic, but they're good. Oh, Mark's soul sticker. Kind of want that. I heard that. It's... Hi. Say hi. Don't pump the mic. Don't do that. I'm almost at my next level cap. Oh, you had to lift the level cap, you gotta do the uh, thingers. I think I'm only like two or three Stop records that. away. Parker. Oh, right. Speaking of those, I should probably be looking at these, huh? The little playing is hammer. Stop time and survive. I can do that. Do I hear him rattling the mic? Yes, that was Parker kissing the mic. I think it's the fuzzy thing. I've got like a fuzzy... I don't... <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to filter, but it filters sound things. And he likes to rub it now. Oh, 
Greater Doomer is slightly annoying to hit with the uh, thing, but... He goes real fast when you hit him. Yeah, I fought him before. I was actually surprised at how easy it seemed. Like, once you get him. Yeah, it goes really fast because he's always flying. And he, he's, he's easier to hit than Krakow. He's down here pretty often. Krakow is probably my least favorite, other than, like, Pyribit and stuff. Pyrib is <laughs> always and forever the worst Kirby boss. I can't believe he's in this one, too. He was in the 3DS one. And <laughs> he was everyone's least favorite boss in Triple Deluxe. He's probably most people's least favorite boss in the series. But as soon as I saw this stage, uh, I knew he'd be back. Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> I hate when he does that. Froge? Froge? Froge is not an excuse for his crimes. Oh, sweet. This game seems really weird netcode wise. I wouldn't be surprised if it had like an unreasonably high requirement or something weird. Because I've found some online matches that are just really bad. <laughs> he just... I swear not only does he like initially get frozen faster, it feels like his um the in ever increasing amount of stuff it takes to create you know, stop time. It doesn't seem like that affects him as much. Oh, heck. So yeah, this game, plus River City Girls and stuff, um, pretty much killed my um, Chris playthrough of Remake. I was initially only planning to do one playthrough, um, and then as I was getting, I was getting into it, as I was doing the Jill playthrough, and then this came out and everything. Everything is coming out in September, I swear. Uh, Gunvolt is. And a bunch of other stuff is. Can't get over how overwhelming too cute this game is. Yeah, welcome to Kirby stuff in general, I guess. Yeah, I haven't been able to put it down. <laughs> Which is obvious for my level. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... I think it was, like, level 18 last night when I started. And Perry was, like, level 5 or something, weren't you? And then, by the end of the night, um, weren't you, like, 25? I was 24 <laughs> by the time I was done, yeah. Jeez. It gets less cute as you go on, as per Kirby lore reasons. There wasn't too much of that in the 3DS one. Um, didn't get too nuts, but I am eager to see if that changes in this one. Kirby, world's cutest god slayer. Alright, speaking of, um... I think that's all of my things. Well, we can go back and for some of these. Um, we've been doing good. At least I've been doing good with leveling up so we, I don't run out of... Do you need stamina too when we do this? Um, it, I'm not sure. My, my vigor is replenished right now because I just went up a level recently, but I uh -huh. don't think I just went up a level last time, so I'm not... We'll find out after this. Yeah. Um, speaking of the uh, gun vault, um, is there a physical copy of that? Is it just like limited run game only thing? Because isn't limited run gaming doing like a not stupid, terrible version that like you might actually have a small percentage chance of actually getting? They're like doing two editions now or something? I don't know how it works because I hate limited run gaming. But if they have like a copy that I can actually acquire at a decent price, I might get it, just for Gumball. Yes to both. I love how he, he keeps getting frozen with the mouth open. Just pour the beams right in. He's like Guy Fieri. LRG is actually keeping stocks of stuff because they like money. Hmm. As 
As much as I hate them, I might... If it's the same price as digital download, I might get it for Gumvolt. Can we play as Coppin in this one? I've done like no research on this game. I, I didn't realize it was coming out remotely this close. I thought it would be like 2020. Catch the regular physical editions are only available at GameStop. Like online or physical only? Like in, in, in person only? That's a hilarious frozen stance. <laughs> yes! He's like a big old puddin'. A flan. <laughs> yes. Everyone knows the Homestar Runner loves wading through puddin'. There we go. Oh, geez, do anything with the stop. Huh. I guess I'll take a look. Is there like a list of the notable releases in September? Because there's like a lot more than I thought. Like I swear every game that I was like, huh, I remember hearing about that. When, when does that come out? They're they're all releasing in September. I was, oh my god. The Last of Us 2 isn't releasing in September, is it? Because I don't remember when that's supposed to come out. Wikipedia? I guess it should, shouldn't it? I'm begrudgingly willing to buy a GameStop once in a while. I think GameStop is the last dedicated video game store I've been in. Not that there, not that there are that many anymore. My college town had one. We have at least three or four in my town. We used to have EB Games, but that's GameStop now. That's why we have so many in our. <laughs> EB games and then Funko Land. I think somewhere around here we have like a game shop with like retro crap. I don't know where it is. Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands 3. Demon X, I'm gonna pass on. Borderlands 3, obviously. I'll be getting that. I don't know if I'll want to stream my first playthrough. Oh, yeah, Perry, do you have. Check your stamina. I'm just curious. I'm maxed. Really? Huh. That's actually kind of cool. That means we can always switch around if we need to. Yeah. Well, not that we ever need to. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just keep leveling up. I think I'm pretty close to a level up in it again. But yeah, that is very generous, because, like, joining... I'm pretty sure joining an online match, you have to use stamina. Yeah, you definitely do. Just the online stamina. Yeah, but I mean... But your online stamina show is full too, though, right? Yeah, and I saw that yours was low, but maybe it's just a host that pays. Yeah, the, the, I definitely pay. <laughs> screaming. Screaming with his butt presented. This <laughs> highly unsettling image. I like that they at least have, Curse. like, pellet spot versions, though. Yeast 9 is this month? Huh. That was a raid to Yeast. That was a cursed freeze. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I mean, it, it's Mr. Frosty there. He doesn't have many non-cursed frames of animation now. The Mr. Floaty, excuse me. He scream at own ass. By the way, I was in an all. <laughs> that's that's also a cursed freeze. But like I said, um, I was in an online match where the. Two of my three teammates never learned. He does like this thing where he gets really tall and like spits a bunch of water. And it's like a one hit knockout. This. They never learned to jump and dodge this. Oh, you can duck! Wow, I learned something from the AI. That's rare. I wouldn't have thought of just ducking. <laughs> Me neither, to be honest. This is the opposite of coming for that booty. That, that booty is coming for you. Look at this delicate leg pose. Beautiful. I love the swim cap too. Oh. Yeah, I used to I used to be in my the used game store at my college like every week. 
I kind of missed that. That was pretty neat. When you have college money, just to say, like, $20, and that's it. Um, that's pretty nice. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. It's, it works. He squat. All the best frame. <laughs> Bestframes.com. There we go. I'm never gonna run out at this rate. Oh yeah, I just hit my level cap. Great. Oh. How many missions do you need? That's a good question. I'm about to check. I can do some story stuff while you grab some uh, missions. I think I only need a couple. I know I was in the 140. I still got five more levels, so I'm good. I'll speed some more deals. You get the you get rarity up pretty quick. Story quest. Like Empyrean, you used to unlock that at like level 40 in the 3DS one, so there must be some new matches. I just checked I'm at 148, so it won't take me long. Alright. Tough crap. Hammer. Have you gone through and gotten all the heroic quests with the different, um, the different, uh, guys? Different what? Like the different classes? Oh, no. I've only played, uh... Except for in a few cases where I can grab a heroic quest by, like, beating a boss with hammer, etc. Um, I've pretty much only done being mage. It's easy yeah, enough... I Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I haven't done any of those yet, so this is gonna be real easy to get past this level. Yeah, what... My plan was just... Once I genuinely, like, need those, I'll just, like, fight, like, giant Waddle D like, level 3 quest, and just beat it up in, like, 4 seconds a bunch of times, because that would be really quick. Krakow looks like he's made out of, like, colored pencils or crayons or something in this one. He's never had, like, different colored spikes before, uh -oh. Also, Krakow is, like, extra scary in 3D. I don't know... There's just something unnerving about it. sucks. Iowa and Illinois are alright. Um, I don't know too much about the rest of the Midwest. Of this than I thought I would. I guess I still need some levels. That one's kind of a dick anyway. Krakow's pain in the butt. And there's a lot of states that, like, it really depends where you are. Like, Florida, the panhandle is, like, absolutely horrific. A lot of, like, pretty much any state 
Um, the big city is going to be a lot different from rural places. It's a lot, even in states known for being crazy, you know, pants on head stupid, are um, pretty manageable in the cities. Like, um, Tucson, I think, is pretty cool in Texas, I believe. I think I've been there. Arizona? Or tu yeah, wherever, <laughs> wherever Tucson is. No, I'm thinking of Houston. Houston, I think. Texas. Have I been to Texas? I've been to most states. I'm not sure I've been to Texas. I, I uh, got my level cap of a race there. Ah, cool. Whenever you're ready, no rush. Oh, cool. Perfect timing because I just unlocked a new uh, party quest. Sweet. So the gem apples, I was wondering if they made them give you more, but you get them less often. But no, they still hatch every 12. Yeah, the apples hatch uh, every 12 hours. So you just get a lot more. Um, where do I? Oh, right. Oh, by the way, Kine's over here. I think you have to unlock Kine? I don't know. But he's here now. I didn't show him last stream. There's also Meta Knight that you should have seen. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just kind of... Faffing about. Uh, party quest. Oh, wait, not single system. I found the best way to grind in Pokemon Masters is to just play something else and just like tap to start a battle, wait like a few minutes, then tap through again. <laughs> That's what I did yeah, all through. <laughs> it's a lot of mobile idea. games, unfortunately. Oh, Telepathos. Uh, game? Yeah, oh, I haven't game. done that one yet. I started it. Good luck with this. This is a pretty high recommended level. Is it? I didn't even look. 34. Oh. Well, you're beating level 28, it's so no problem, so. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I think... <laughs> I think they add, like, a certain amount of levels to the... On, like the recommended one for the multiplayer. I didn't change my class back. Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll, I'll try out the hammer guy again. I, I think hammer is better than it was in 3DS, but it's still second worst. The, well, arguably worst. Um, Doctor Healmore is okay. It's it's good for healing, but for dealing damage, it's. Overall, I think it's not really worth it, but it can be nice to have one now. It can be nice to have one on the team. It's just that I would never <laughs> want to sacrifice my playability to be the one that heals. It's not super satisfying healing. Like, um, Borderlands 2, healing with Rez, super satisfying. Uh, Dr. Healmore is less so. Especially since everyone can revive. I'm not even sure how to do the... Hammer's charging. Uh, just hold the attack. You gotta be on the ground, though. This works just like the sword, basically. You can, unlike the sword, though, you can inch towards enemies. It's very useful. Oh, no, you gotta hold, um, hold up and then press attack. It works just like normal Kirby, so I don't even think, oh, I don't think we can do that one yet. No, no, no. Nah, probably not. It's fine, we can do some of the other stuff. Hey, Bee Chan. Um, I have new ones here. Oh, they're still level 34. Ice Dragon is easier to manage, though. We'll try Ice Dragon. Let me change my role this time. <laughs> yeah, that might help. I mean, might need to get better gear. I was kind of... I was trying to ride for just one more... Um... By the way, you said you you just hit Heroic Rank 150? Or uh, what was that? What Heroic Rank did you have to get to unlock the level? 150. Ah. Uh, I have... I somehow, at least at the start of this stream, I had more Heroic Ranks than you somehow. Despite the lower levels, but... Do I just keep... Because, you know... I played the game before, so I know what kind of stuff to try to do. Oh, it looks... <laughs> 
He's almost unnervingly realistic. It's so weird to see Ice Dragon. He's used to, like, literally a scribble. Very bouncy now, though. I love how you can see the regret in this freeze frame. The dragon is rethinking its life choices. It looks like Bubble Bobble. It does. I think Bubble Bobble, if you include the TI-83 game, is the game I've played the most while never having beaten. Oh, Rare Shard. Get, get down here! There we go. By the way, what's the deal with the chests? I've only seen the chests, like... It told me about them in the tutorial once, and then I opened two chests, and I've never seen them again online. And I do use my online stamina, so I don't know why I wouldn't see them. Um, they're kind of rare. Sometimes there's, like, raid ups or something like that, but, um... I don't know. It's hard to get into them, too, even if you do... Yeah, they do the rare shard thing. You gotta chase after them. I think... The way it seemed to work, anyway, is that after you get one, then you get to see a couple, like... You get to see which matches will have one? Yeah, it shows up as an icon. Yeah. I really wish you could use Y and B for this instead of A and B. It hurts less than 3DS still, though. I kept getting tripped up with the sticker button. Oh, yeah. Ooh, maximum. Oh, no, that is a maximum tomato. I don't know if it could spawn. These free fr freeze rains are cracking me up. I've made a huge mistake. Wait, what's that fourth, fifth, whatever, the, the yet another new season of Arrested Development supposed to be happening or something? What's the deal with that? <laughs> like a toy. The Ice Dragon kind of does look like a toy. A big old plushy. Oh. Man, I was all excited to play River City Girls. <laughs> with people in the Discord, and it turns out there's no online co-op. And they did never announced online co-op, I just kind of assumed that a beat-em-up game in this day and age from modern consoles would be having that. And, so. Crap, I died! As soon as- ow. As soon as I die, my, my teammate will heal you. See, I, I meant to do that. It's just his plan. Thank you. Oh, that was the teammate. Teammates on point. Oh, there we go. The teammates are pretty good in this. Sometimes I see them wasting moves, though, and I'm just like, come on. They can be a bit silly with the charge moves, but otherwise, they're probably some of the best AI that could be. Though I think they're probably hit piggybacking on Star Allies AI, which is pretty good, too. AI partners legitimately made um, Kirby Superstar harder, by the way. Um... Bosses in that game, you never know it, but bosses have more HP if you have a co-op partner, and the AI does not make up the difference, and boss patterns don't really change if you have... <laughs> Puffiness increased by 8. Um, so, if you played Kirby Superstar with um, AI partners, as probably all of us did, you just made the game harder. I never really played that many Kirby games. Ugh. Philistine. <laughs> well, I mean, I played, like, old Kirby, like, SNES level Kirby, and then just never really got into some of the new... N64 Kirby. Yeah, it's, it's a series that doesn't get a ton of hype, but, um... Pretty much never had a legitimately bad game. Even the side games are pretty good. 
I've streamed almost every mainline Kirby. Um, no, I have streamed every mainline Kirby, unless you count Rainbow Curse. Um, and Camus Curse, but... I'll, I'll stream those eventually, I'm sure. Rainbow Curse is such a weird game. The funny thing is, people viewing the live stream of, of uh, Rainbow Curse will see higher quality graphics than I see, because I have to use the gamepad, because it's like not possible to watch the TV and use the gamepad. Because you gotta draw directly on it, so... <laughs> There's screen mirroring for like, no reason. It's for like, <laughs> spectators. I haven't beaten Dreamland 3 or 64. They're both really good. Um, Dreamland 3, um, well, and 64, th those have my favorite bosses in the series. They're really where the, like, dark turn at the end of Kirby games got kind of perfected. I didn't like the, um, I didn't like Dreamland 2 all that much. <laughs> Game Boy, <laughs> no backlit screen. That was good times. With the little additional lights you could buy for it. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of different ones of those. I had one for the Game Boy Advance too. Like the coily light? Yeah, I had that one for that. And I had the weird magnifier light em up thing for the Game Boy Color. Yes! <laughs> I don't I had know why it for you. the would... original Game Boy. I don't know why it needed to magnify. I guess because, like, you gotta s sit farther away because of the flip of lights, but I don't know. Well, the light that I had was, was fairly thick, you know, kind of made it recessed into it, so the magnifier could help for that kind of thing. Oh, pirate it. I'm not even gonna try that. Uh, He's actually not that difficult in this one by comparison uh, to, like, some of them in here. Well, he's not so much difficult, it's just annoying. I don't like- I don't like the fight. I mean, that's accurate. Metroidvania Mill elements of Amazing Mirror. Yeah, Amazing Mirror, it was not... There was too many one-ways, and it was too hard to figure out certain things. It wasn't a bad game. I would say probably one of the weaker ones, though. Um, Squeak Squad handled the treasure finding. The really, um... A Great Cave Offensive was kind of a Metroidvania one, like there was no unlocking areas. But it had the branching paths, it had the collecting treasure and stuff. And I like, oh. I always fall for his shield somehow. I don't even know how, because he flashes when it's invincible. Good idea done badly. Yeah, Mega Man Zero One was kind of like that. It had the Mega Metroidvania stuff, but it doesn't... It didn't really make sense in that game, because like everything is like a kind of connected map. But you still started missions, um, and it just teleported you straight to the beginning of the mission, just like a regular Mega Man game. Um, they kind of it took them until the Mega Man ZX games to perfect the Metroidvania feel, which that's there's gonna be a Mega Man ZX and Zero collection soon, and it's not emulated, so it should be really nice. I can't wait for that one. I think it's like 2020 sometime. Hey, I gotta be RB for a second. I'll be right back. All right, fine. I need a way to store powers. Oh, that would have helped a lot. Yeah, the um, yeah, there's some areas you need very specific powers. Of course, everyone would just store Smash then. But... Definitely the Kirby game. I think I needed the most like to use a guide in this. Alright, let's see what gear I can get. Six volumes. That's a lot. I think I only have like volume three and four on stuff. Come on. Marks is uh, not Marks. Um Magalore is so quiet. I mean, he's very Marks like. My defense. Um, by the way, this golden staff used to be the thing that increased charge speed. They kind of changed around the balance of those. 
for reasons, I guess. I guess so they could have these palette swap ones to kind of stretch it out a bit. Yeah, I want to wait until Rarity 8. I will say one thing that kind of suffers from the game's like gameplay style. There's so much like attack noises going on that you don't really get to hear the music. And Kirby music is always definitely one of the high points. Also, the game is so quiet. I don't know why. Hopefully it's- oh, I haven't been looking at the audio thing. I turned it up. It should be fine. Electric Dragon. I kind of like the palette swaps. They're, um... I never thought palette swaps and stuff were, like, the biggest sin ever. Like, people act like, oh, if it wasn't a palette swap, it would have been, like, a completely visually and gameplay unique enemy. And, like, your choice was always between, like, 50 billion different types of enemies and, like, a single palette swap. It's like, no. Your choice was between, like one type of enemy, or like two types of enemies, but one's a palette swap. Well. It's... But with 3D you can do a bit more than a palette swap. I don't know really what you would call this kind of thing. I still call it a palette swap. It's obviously a bit more work. There's some 3D modeling in there, different textures, but it's the same core concept. The first game I saw do that really well was, um... Say. Uh, Dark Cloud 2. I think Dark Cloud. I'm back. Welcome back. I think Dark Cloud 1 does it, but I didn't have Dark Cloud 1. I, I got that like years later in college and I never beat it. It's it's not as good as Dark Cloud 2. There was some very clear refinements. I'm just finishing up a uh, single player here and I'll restart the thing here. Coming. Getting pretty good at the uh, meteor timing. Unless you're playing with someone with a terrible paint. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what thing unlocks the Rarity 8 weapons? Actually, I checked and I don't have those. I thought I did. Oh. I'm not sure. Doesn't surprise me that I don't have them either then. Uh, yeah, I just beat the Electric Dragon and Empyrean. Might be Landia. There's a lot of options in the multiplayer, I get confused. Um, let's try Paravit. Probably easier than Telepathos, just annoying. I think I could make a heal more. Alright, room's made. Oh, by the way, chat, um, board game night tomorrow. Let me toss a link or reno in the chat. I bought some Bacardi Hurricane and uh, Zombie for the stream. We're gonna play Amiibo Festival. Should be really fun. Sorry, my stupid squeaky chair. There he is, everyone's least favorite boss. I it kind of looks like a Pikmin boss, come to think of it. Uh-oh. Spicy Froge. 
Oh, God. And that's why we don't like Pyramid. Like a cross between Pikmin and Pokemon. He'd definitely be rock and fire type. One, the nice thing they did, uh, Pyribit gets it stunned. Um, I forget if it does that in Triple Deluxe or not. It might. It's been a long time since Triple Deluxe. I, I am amazed I didn't get hit by that. Uh, I'm getting some media calm. Not too bad considering I've already cut the bit rate in half from what it should be. This was not bad at all. I mean, it gets worse at this point, but... I think having one Dr. Hemor <laughs> is an AI. AI. Poor help. Whoops. Gotcha. Frick. I was kind of just hoping to thread the needle there. Crap. I'm under his butt. <laughs> Come down, boy. I have the flame design on him. He goes faster that way. Do you know that it's canon in in um, Warhammer 40k lore? Orcs think that red ones go faster, and so they do. If they paint a card, it goes faster because it's red, because they think it does. And that's how all of Orc's stuff works. It's great. I'll take your word on it. <laughs> it's like a cargo cult that works. Like, uh, Orc guns, they shouldn't work. They're like, made, they're like pieces of shit taped together with like nails. And um, they shouldn't work, but they work for Orcs. But if a human picks up an Orc gun, it fucking like explodes or falls apart or doesn't work. It's only the only the it, like it's psychosomatic physics. I like that it burns the screen. That's a cute touch. I like works. I'm not a huge Warhammer 40k fan. I like Space Marine. Space Marine was good. Um, I have a couple of the RTSs. I just haven't been in RTS mood. But I'm not usually a huge like grim. I'm not in a I used to be a grim dark edge lord, but not really anymore. Um, but orcs crack me up. Under the butt again. <laughs> That's a really good face. Yeah, orcs have the wog, or however you pronounce that. That's just great. It only works because they're stupid, but they, them being stupid prevents them from like completely destroying everything. So they like completely destroy most things. I swear, Edge Lord is a phase of aging. I really think it is, at least for like online connected people. It really feels like most of us went through some degree of Edge Lordery. For me, it was around the, you know. Mid to late teens, I guess. Oh, I didn't get any fluffiness points. Kind of cool. I wonder if you use stickers of people not Kirby, do you get a sound effect that is not Kirby? Because if Mark's soul has the Mark Soul laugh. 
Um, that would be amazing. And I would spam it constantly. I didn't even realize they had sound effects because I'm almost always playing on mute. Oh. I only, I only mute, um, I play mobile games on mute, but usually got the sound on for everything else. Well, with my setup, I'm normally doing it while we're watching something else on the other team. Uh. Alright. Oh, I was supposed to do a heal. Well, we'll see how this works. Oh. <laughs> Possibly not well. Okay, yeah, probably not well. He's so swoopy! At least they're- oh. I was about to say, at least he's easy to do the time thing. Just barely not enough. There we go. I do think it is a little annoying that the time stop thing stops the music, because the music's really good. It's kind of neat that you get transferred to, like, the time dimension, though. That's where I imagine Bunny from Bunny Must Die is from, frickin' time dimension. We're in the bloody bush dimension, Morty! You can pee here! Yay, Morty, yay! Oh, god. So that is the nice thing about flying enemies. As long as you can hit them, they get froze up real fast. Okay, we got this. No problem. Easy every time. You gotta be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky. I think we gotta be sneaky, Charlie, is one of the things I've referenced the most. That... After drinking out of cups... Anytime this balloons, Mr. Balloon Hands, Mr. Walkway, Mr. Walk down me on the walkway, lead me to the building. Fuck you. I also think that entire skit is why, I, whenever I see a thing, I call it Mr. X, like the entire QT stream. Who paid for that floor? Not me. By the way, I swear the, the bronze metal in this looks like it has, like, wood grain on it. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> you get so much experience for this, whoa. God, Imagine if you had an experience booster on right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to use at least one of those for one of the quests, but I never did get it. They're <laughs> expensive. They are. I used the big one without realizing I was using the big one, but I made the most. Uh, yeah, I think there's a couple of quests, some of the online quests where you have to use some of the uh, the gem boosters. So I'm kind of saving those to do those later. So I like don't have to buy them while I have like real things to do with gems. Well, it seems much better gem apple wise, but I'm suspicious because I mean, they gotta want you to pay somehow. Not my chair, not the, my problem. That's what I say. Packages don't seem terrible, but I mean, you. Yeah, I got the fifty cent one. Um, doubles your gem apples per day. Pretty satisfying going back to these easy ones and just obliterating them. Wrecking their shit. Have you seen Twitch chat? I have no idea. I can see the chat. I'm not sure what you mean by the email survey. 
email surveys. I don't know what that means. See a bunch of things. Oh, there's some. Oh yeah, no, I'm not signed up for any of that stuff. Probably should be. Yeah, it seems to work kind of like the old inbox dollars. I used to do that. I'm so glad this has like friend play and like. <laughs> I have people to play with because, like, some of these heroic missions seem like they would kind of be pain in the butt. Especially, like, the ones that we need to finish the enemy with a Spartan attack. Doing that in the middle of an online match with randos. Yeah. Not super no. fun. Understand the question and I won't respond. Pretty sure you said smirten instead of certain. I say things like that all the time, like on purpose. People usually think it is a mistake. I've I've made that number A joke like 50 times. I think every single time someone has like pointed it out as if I had made a mistake. Tap tap, you plead. How dare you use the English language this way? Beginner's gear, huh? I can do that. Pointed stick. Can you manually change the uh, teammates equips? Um, and I know you can in story mode, I think, but I'm not sure about on. It doesn't look like an online. So I was kind of trying. I figured I would deal a lot less damage with this gear. It don't last, but not that much less. The lower charge time hurts the most. This is so much nicer than going with randos, because it... In the time it takes us to do, like, three rounds, it would, like... That's how long we would be waiting for a full party of four. Pretty accurate. Oh, do you... Can you get the red missions? I'm not sure if... Because I think if you do local play, only the host gets red missions. I don't know if that's the case for this or not. Are you completing it? Um, I, I didn't get any this time. I think it's, um, you know, in the case like you did your, your beginners here and I didn't, so I didn't get it. Yeah. I can do this. Stored boys. I love how adorable Kirby looks just holding <laughs> a sword. Hi! Hmm. 
New Kirby official clothes? Huh. The Kirby official lingerie is a bit... a bit odd. What do you have, Kirby? A sword! No! Oh, I forgot to make the team. He's plebe tier difficulty, so it shouldn't be too bad. I love. <laughs> I love when the, the, they kind of just push you towards the enemy when you're trying to charge up. I, I'm, I'm stuck on him. <laughs> oh, that's actually a really good, um, that's a good attack loop, just bouncing off of them with the, um, the regular chop in midair. That's a pretty good strat. I didn't even realize what I was doing, to be honest. Max was stuck. Those Kirby clothes are adorable. Oh, neat. Those are cool. I love the zipper. Super gay. <laughs> it's like a Kirby yeah, version of that um, skull zipper that Rust Barrel has in Disgaea. Reminds me of that Kirby Cafe thing. It's an amazing idea, but like, I, I can't, it's, it can only be in one place. And I'm not at that place, and that's my, <laughs> that's my primary objection to it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I think we golded it. Yeah, probably. And platinum with mage care. Should be that. Uh, I like the rotate stabs. <laughs> I wish it would keep memory of what you picked your teammates for. That would be pretty nice. Imagine a cat cafe but instead of cats that had Kirby's and you could pet them. Kirby climbing structures. It looks like they have some more subdued ones than the super pink ones. I like that Kirby zip up though. I just want that for like, just sell me like the zipper clamp on and just put, put that on everything. Put that on my fly. So I guess the netcode is just like really bad at handling even one person with bad connection because it's been like this feels more or less just like playing, you know, offline. This is quite good. Yeah, it pretty much does. I think from I think it just tries to prevent anyone like lagging behind and desyncing, so it just slows the game down to, to cope. I guess let me show these, put these in the stream after this match here. Oh, close. Open these up. Big oh, rate, please. Shirts. It's so fuzzy. 
I like this one. It's got all the little. Let me show you the details. There you go. <laughs> oh, this one's Kirby's Adventure. That's cute. The Kirby's Adventure one has, well, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby. It's got a little M tomato. I want the Kirby to be like a badge. So you could like break into place and like hold out your Kirby badge. It's like, it's okay. I play Kirby. Right, I'm gonna lower the bitrate a little bit. Because it's getting fucky. Not too much. Oh, I should probably take these off. There we go. Character hoodie is cool because they finally have Lola La and La La La. Oh, did it have Lola La and La La La? Let me take a look. Oh. <laughs> this is a good t-shirt, right? Wait, hold up. Let me fix this. Um, this one. Yes. No. Oh, curb. There, there we go. The image was so big I couldn't adjust it. Guys literally only want one thing, it's fucking disgusting. Think about those curbs. Oh yeah, it doesn't have Lolo Lo and La La La. Wait, where is Lo actually where is La La La? I only see Lolo. Oh there she is. Oh, I love that Gordo, it's so cute. Fun fact, I was almost Sir Gordo. I, I like the spiky invincible enemies. But Gordo means fat in Spanish. And I like curb or I like uh, Tap Tap's a little better than Gordo's. Tap Tap's have more personality, they're just happy little bastards. But... Alright. Oh, leveled up again. <laughs> you level so fast with online, it's amazing. Like it says, oh you get 1.3 times as much experience, but then the base amounts of experience are higher too, so you just get crazy XP. You really do. It's it's nice. Like if you play the highest level that you're allowed once you right after you unlock it, it's like more than half of your experience bar. Half is a better name. And I think it shortens better. Um... That's why I go back and forth between the stories, so I might make sure to make most of my story stamina or vic beast gear. Do I have a beast gear? Beast gear. Hammer flip. Final blow with hammer flip. This quest. Thirty seconds. I'll try with the hammer. Oops. Teammates suck, but oh well. Yeah, like tap. I wish I had just gone with like Tap Tap, with Tap Tap Gaming or something, but this was back when um, YouTube, you had to have a unique name and stuff. So just Tap Tap was of course taken at the time. Plus it's just convenient, because like Tap Tap is taken everywhere where there's, you know, a limit. You know, only one person can have a unique username, but uh, Sir Tap Tap pretty. <clears throat> excuse me. Pretty much never, except for, um... Someone stole it on PlayStation Network, and they played one game. They played, like, Modern Warfare, like, once, and got one achievement. And that's I all saw I that. <laughs> yeah, so... I can't be... I don't even care that there's a thing where you can change your thing on, um... PlayStation Network, because, like, I'm not... I'm never gonna be Sir Tap Tap, so I don't really give a crap. I'd have to be, like, THE Tap Tap or something. Plus, you can. I just set my real name to be Sir Tap Tap on PlayStation, so. Don't worry. I was never too broke up about the PlayStation Network thing. I prefer. I prefer the, like the display name versus the username kind of thing, kind of like what Twitter does. 
because like people can't behave and like if you let them just do whatever like you can with steam you get like you know first time you know you meet some guy and the thing is like steve and then like next week you have like dr cornflakes frosty butthole in your friends list and like who is this and like you just never know <laughs> like half of my friends list in steam i swear is different every month if not every week back up. <laughs> I, I hate being hammer. It's too slow. I, I get why, but like, they overcompensated. I'm kind of surprised they didn't nerf the, um, I don't think they really changed the gameplay balance at all. I, I think I move a little faster as hammer, but I think that may just be psychosomatic. Oops. Didn't actually mean to use that sticker, but you can enjoy that. This is... <laughs> this is a nightmare. Yes! He's, he's not a good boss for this. Definitely should have at least made the allies. I forgot to make them. Time ages. You don't even get the cool shield. The hammer doesn't really have anything except pure damage. It doesn't have any, like, cool extra effect at all. Toast. Oh, well. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> yeah, that... Well. I'll need, like, rare... I'll just come back to with, like, rarity 10 hammer at level 50 and just... <clears throat> defeat him in one hit or something. All right, we still get experience. How nice is that? Oh, and I still got a heroic mission, actually. Oh, nice. I just had to hit him twice. I guess you don't have to, like, beat it for that. Uh, different quest. I wasn't even sure which move the hammer would pull up. Uh, it's the, uh, up... The up B charge. It's the charge attack. It's pretty much always the charge attack. Gotcha. Life is in gear. Don't have that. Wizard gear. Clear with hammer. No thanks. Hmm. Swordsman's gear. I think I have that. Yeah, swordsman's gear is the red thing here. Don't use the team meteor if it shows up. Because that's also a thing. Don't use it? Yeah, if you just leave it, because we get a thing. Have you been getting the red missions at all? Um, you know, I'm not sure now. <laughs> Is James Toastwater on Steam? <laughs> I'm Dr. Cornflakes Crusty Butthole, don't worry about it. I said Frosty Butthole. It's different. Capitalist gonna make some more toast water. <laughs> Capitalist Dadass made toast water for one of the uh, board game nights. He says, it tasted alarmingly light toast, I believe, was the <laughs> verbiage. Oh, yeah, this swipe up and down. Get face that way. The swipe up and down is pretty good too, but I think the best DPS is just pretty much always the charge attack. I think that's the part I want to do with all the horror games for Spooktober. It might be cool. It's been a long time since it. It or maybe, um. Halloween hack? I don't know. If you just did little clips from each stream, there was that huge Halloween stream I did that had like Yumi, Nikki, and a bunch of other stuff. I might just find the best mods for that or something. But whatever you want to do. 
I think I'm gonna go and make my own highlight video of that, um, those men's magazines, the 60, like, 60s, like, oh god, bunch of wild stoats eating a dude, men's outdoor <laughs> magazines. Those were incredible. The one that had, like, the three clones of Gaddafi or something on the beat. <laughs> yeah. The island of unmated males or whatever. So terrible. <laughs> I'm never gonna run out of Vigor. I still have 40 out of 52. I don't think I'm getting the missions. Uh, yeah, I think. Do you? Um, do you even? Oh, you probably you can't see what I see. Um, well, I'm kind of watching the stream. Oh. So I'm lagged. Yeah, I get this mission info thing. I bet it probably tells me somewhere. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I've seen it before we go in, which is why I'm changing my stuff up, but uh, I don't think I'm actually completing the mission. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. It's probably only for the host. Um... Oh, yeah, that just oh, yeah. means I could be the beam lord the whole time. True. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet what it is is because if only, if only I spent stamina, that kind of makes sense. Oh, I guess so, yeah. It'd be good to take a break from the hard time stuff. There's just so much in one stream for that, too. By the way, the dev of uh, Negative Nancy told me I had a really good laugh. I was like hearing stuff like that. I always hated my voice in like high school and stuff. So, it's always my oh, no. favorite to just kind of hear stuff like that. By the way, the flame when you're charging the hammer um, hurts the enemy too, just a little bit. Oh, heck. Oh, no, you can definitely, the, the at least the sneaking, that's, that's definitely faster than it was on 3DS. Negative Nancy was amazing though. I think it has a update. I'm not sure if they updated it before or after I played it, but I might take a peek at it. I'm not sure if I'd do a whole new video of it, but that game was incredible. I love stuff like that. I need to, uh, that's why I'm getting back and just doing the small Ichio games. This is easier than I thought it would be hitting him with this thing. Oh, 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 oh! Wow. Like one hit breaks the rare fragment. Nice. By the way, once he's red, just let me hit him with the hammer foot. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. He did. That was my bad though. I was hitting with the flame attack. I didn't even see him flashing red. If anyone missed negative Nancy, that was really good. Oh hey, platinum. That was like super platinum. Yeah, the the hammer can be pretty dang good. Um it really depends on the boss. Krako is seems particularly vulnerable to that. I don't think I even needed to send them to Red Fragment yet. I'm not even sure what they're for. Uh, they're for high tier gear. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, wait. Oh, with Warrior's gear. Oh, have you been buying the Codexes? Uh, yeah, mostly for the... Um, I got a couple stamina ones. I got three Beam Mage ones, I think. You do eventually have only. I've only bought like level one of some of them right now. I was kind of low on those apples. Yeah, they're not super important. Um, I don't usually. I'm usually limited by gem apples, not by fragments. So those ones aren't that much. And the the star chest one is like, I don't know how much it helps, and I don't ever see star chests. Where I don't, for instance, I don't think we can get star chests in the game mode we're playing. I think it has to be with randos because I haven't seen a single one. 
Yeah, I think you're right. And honestly, the chests vary from level to level. You know, like the low end ones, you'll get anything from like 8 to 16 of a shard. And I've gotten rare fragments, I've gotten all I, kinds of- I got like 5 gem apples once. And like for the codex, like, I would have to get 10 of those to afford one level of the codex, so... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice as an extra thing, so, if, if you can get into one. Yeah. Well, I've never lost one yet, but would anyone get KO'd? There's Hammer. Put it here and I'll try this one as Hammer. Apparently, Abyssrium's got, like, acquired again, so I'm slightly interested to see how that pans out. I, I kind of doubt they can change it too much either way. I don't expect them to, like, be able to destroy it much more than it already is, and I don't really expect them to, like, fix it totally either. But just morbidly curious to see exactly what happens there. Well, I don't know if it can get much worse, that's for sure. Yeah. I feel like... No matter what happens, I feel like the next developer has to be more professional about it. Because it's just... They're so bad at communicating and... Everything. <laughs> it's really just the graphics that they do well. And that's really mostly just art style. It's not even... I'm not sure I would say it has good graphics so much as good art style. Estimating confidence. Yeah, the, the devs are Fiero games, which I guess was... They were the people who were supposed to be making the, um... Switch version that never seems to have happened. I don't know anything about them. They have a Food Fantasy clone. I did notice that. Cuisine. Ten. <laughs> Cuisine something. I don't even remember. But yeah, Tencent has one as well. Now. That one, that one got some bad stuff going on with yeah, they apparently they like did all of this negative like they did like campaign like guerrilla marketing stuff to like make it sound like food fantasy was bad, and then to like try and cover their tracks they made a bunch of fake food fantasy fans and that like you know trash talk the game to make it look like oh food fantasy fans were worse first, and then if you looked the the fake fans had never actually played food fantasy on their Facebook or whatever, it's like. They may just li mail live bees to negative reviewers. I'm sorry, but I mailed live ants to my subscribers. The purpose of my content. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. I'm sorry that I shoved a flaming hammer up Hothead's asshole. The purpose of my content is always to entertain. I love how after that video, the Jax Films video, where like, he's making fun of the YouTuber ap oh, apologies thing. You can't. The jump is also really nerfed for the hammer. Teammates, please. Hell, he's thinking about it. <laughs> Teammate 2 is thinking about it. Yeah, Teammate 2! Yes! Oh no, Teammate 2, watch out! Oh no! Why? <laughs> I never die. <laughs> Dude, oh god damn. They tried. They tried their best. No, no, no. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Teammate three just. I'm gonna see if I beat this one thing. Power of apples. 
Alright, everybody's gonna be... It's funny because we were just talking about how oh the AI is pretty good in this one actually. So it's pretty cool to see Landy in here. That unconvincing roar. Spyro Landia should be in here too, eventually. Excuse me, parallel Landia, different. Definitely not Spyro, just purple. Ooh! Guys, guys, get it. Oops. Like, they don't seem to even acknowledge Ow. The, uh. Rare fragment. Come on. Oh. Landy is a big butt pain for the beam. Oh, oh. Yeah, not a good matchup. Guys. Friends. Oh. There you go. <laughs> they all miss. Yeah. Well, I have not fought this one yet. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be a little easy and then I could like maybe unlock some new party quests. There we go. is fairly tough. They were fairly late the first one. What's up, Parker? I hear you moving. Oh, come on! Angle it slightly up. There we go. Oh, come on. I don't know if his boss is a health bars. I don't know. Going for the monster hunter thing. The perfect bosses don't usually have health bars. I mean, it depends on the game. Um, Dreamland 3 had them. Well, I guess uh, nah, it really depends on the game. Superstar has them too, I suppose. Come on, Bab Landia, there we go. Bab form Landia sometimes is easy to hit. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, if the enemy isn't always within beam range, the uh, AI doesn't think to charge it up. There we go. This one actually kind of gets easier, at least if you're beam in the, uh... Second one. Has he gotten mad yet? Yeah. I don't think they ever dropped the um, meteor shards until after angry mode. Okay. okay I was thinking I would have this done by the time you got back. Guys, I swear, they gave up. They're just not trying anymore. There we go, that's rarity 8. Alright, what else?
else does it unlock? I'm kinda tempted to get Rarity 8 for like one of the other things. Oh shit! There he is! That's Terenza. <laughs> Question mark? Oh, we'll do some, uh, hopefully I unlock some new party quests too, but I don't know. Uh, single, no. Online. Friendo. Oh, nope. Oh well. Um. This, this one we can do. Um, try to land the final blow with the uh, meteor. Wait until it's red. Alright. I guess a, part of the reason the bosses don't have health bars might just be because it was originally on um, 3DS and you already had the four health bars for the characters. So it'd be pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm not beam. <laughs> I'm so used to being beam. Disregard sword, acquire beam. The nice thing about this thing that I'm doing, um, except for a brief frame, um, you're invulnerable through pretty much all of it, so that's why you're just inside the hitbox. Nice. So once, there's like one frame when you're on your back, um, after flipping back. I think you have to be outside the hitbox for that, but otherwise you can just put it to him. Oh, come on. Give me an charge. Oops. Okay. Make sure to not get the last shard. Or your shard until uh, he's red. Uh -huh. I was going to try to do that, but kind of spawn inside me. Alright, good. Corn. The cold is corn. Oh, shit. That's a thing that can happen? I, I, I didn't know. The, the power tablet's gone. I didn't realize they could despawn. Huh. No idea. Oh well. We would have needed a lot more firepower to make that happen anyway. If it's gonna despawn anyway. Oh! Uh, don't get it yet. I guess, the, I guess it comes back. Too much more. He's, he's red. red. He's red. Get it. Perfect. So 
that one teammate just way off of there. Oh, oh no! Dang it! Oh well. It's gonna be a really annoying one to gauge. I guess the idea is you're probably gonna play all the multiplayer ones a lot. It's weird, this guy's. Yeah, now we're gonna lose. This isn't even that high of a level of one, I don't think. It's like level 14. Oh, please freeze. There we go. Nice! One second left. At the buzzer. That's right. Actual headline. Real. <laughs> the bronze medal is so discouraging. Kirby's like, oh, I guess you win. You, you sure you picked a level 14 one? I thought so. I'll take a look. Level 28. I feel like there's like a level higher than that, but I'm not... I'll take a look. Um... You can still go for the um, green quests though in multiplayer. Uh, oh, oh! No, that was level 28. I was thinking of the lower level one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we. <laughs> that was yeah, just a little bit more sense. <laughs> yeah. Woo! What? What do you want? If you want to use this to uh, platinum some of your things, we could always do the triple team thing, right? Oh, the colossal triple team? Probably. I don't know. Sometimes I use online to get higher, you know, rankings. For okay, that one we can definitely do. Should probably get some rarity eight gear, and I'd be able to get at least some of the use X to defeat this boss thing. Oh, I'm used to sword. I'm a little disappointed they didn't add like a new class. I don't know what class they would add. Sword, beam, and hammer, kind of the most iconic ones. Yo yo or something would be fun though. Or something like Spark. Some mix of Spark and something else maybe. Give your controller a workout. I was just a nub. There we go. That's gotta be platinum. Yep. Sweet. What level are you now, by the way? Uh, 32. Gained a couple levels on you, I think, but I'm still level 28. I think I was like eight levels down. Yeah, something like that. I should be able to do that. The only downside to doing the lower level one is using up your vigor. Yeah, so they do cost less vigor too. Mm, true. 
Plus, we still, still have not run out ever during the whole stream. And what's amazing is even if we did, your, your vigor doesn't drain, so I, we could just have you host, and then by the time we're done, I would definitely have a full bar if not just leveled up. I thought you had it. Yeah, I was trying to get to it. <laughs> Just a couple seconds off. rarity is so fast in this one, I kind of <laughs> don't want to buy stuff until like... Because I'm just two tiers off from what at least used to be the max rarity. I think it's still 10. probably pop off before too long. Um, do we... Did I clear... Do we clear everything on your um, list of party quests? Um, I guess I yeah, go. I'm pretty sure. You can host if you want and we can do anything that we've missed. Yeah, I can take a look at least. I'll, I'll go ahead and start a host. Oh, star quest! Okay, let's do, we'll do the star quest. Good. Good thing to finish up with, I guess. I guess that answers my question of whether star quests could be. Huh. The star quest? Um. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, for this, the chests. I was pretty impressed with how the um, hammer worked on Krakow, actually, but I should get a better hammer. I don't think you have to even win to get to get the chest, you just have to break it, but it should be easy. Oh, by the way, Perry, um, something to ask Joe, and I guess Hazy, but um, 
I forgot to ask my coworker about Borderlands, but well, it'll probably be a short stream anyway. Would you be able to do, um, I guess, the usual time, Sunday? No, I wouldn't be able to. Um, I've got a, I got a rehearsal to go to for a wedding. Alright, no problem. If anyone else can't show up, I'll probably just delay it. It'll just be that one, one more stream. I'm kind of amazed how fast we went through it. I was expecting, like, multiple more streams. But I guess we didn't really do a whole lot of side stuff. Oh, there's a chest! Get there we go. Oh, there's a fragment over the left there. Thank you. I think the Star Quest always spawn in like twos. Cause that's the way it was before for me. Ba boom. I wonder if it's totally random or if it needs so many fights. Cause that was it's, <laughs> we did a it lot. It seems of totally random to me. Yeah, I'm sure I played less matches than this before I found my first one, but hard to know if it was just a tutorial one or something. Only five seconds off. Uh, what do I get? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> 51. Not terrible, I guess. I would have preferred apples, but... Dang, I only got like 16 of the blue ones. <laughs> oh, this... I still have a... Hmm. By the way, do you stay in the session, or do you have to, like, check back? Uh, it keeps me in the session. Alright. Uh, it basically just has me at a waiting, um, thing whenever you're selecting a- Ah. Uh, because I noticed there was- there was an NPC for just a minute there. I'm actually kind of impressed how the, like, it has, like, a menu to see all of your friends that are currently playing. I figured it'd be, like, you have to get specific invites and stuff. Pretty good online for Kirby, well, console Kirby's first. Thing. I still really hope they put some co-op into, um, online co-op into, uh, Star Allies, but I don't know. If that dream is still Chocobo alive. Mystery Dungeon. That's supposed to be happening, I have no idea when, but Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon should get multi. I could just buy that because I have. <laughs> I forgot I have Switch Bucks on my account. Alright, what do we get? Two apples. Same. <laughs> uh. But wait, if you paid 50 apples to get the codex, you would have gotten three apples. <laughs> huh. Do these do these two just keep having? No. No, don't disband. Oh, 
When I had this before, the um, the matches with the star thing, like, you can only clear them once. So I don't know what the deal is. I guess the random start makes sense if you can grind them for, like, a full hour, but... I don't really want to I think do I'm that. gonna have to stop after this one tap. Yeah. Especially if they're only worth one. <laughs> Two apples. System though. Might play more of this this weekend. I'm not doing board game right though. I do need to stream news, the new news dash stuff though. Glad that news dash seems to be doing. Seems to be. People seem to be liking it on console. I guess it was on mobile for like a year because they already have a um, anniversary. They added an anniversary loading screen. There it is, I was about to say, I don't really don't want to use that meteor until the uh, star chest shows up. Oh! Did, uh oh. Did, did we I think we got it. Maybe. I think it broke like just as it hit. Please don't get knocked out. Uh, it's yeah. It broke. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we got it just as the animation started. Yeah, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> There's the one and two apples. The shards are almost better than the apples, considering relative amounts. But I think it's random amounts, so like that probably was just a bad pull. No fake stats. I don't even care about the real stats and levels up. I want the fake stats. Way more exciting. I, don't, I only got red, uh, 17 red fragments. <laughs> I got 49 reds. I wonder if you get worse because you're not paying the stamina. I guess so. Uh, oh well. Could be random. It's just hard to... Sample size of three, well, six. Oh, there it went. Well, that well, was at least fun. we know they're in there now. Wow, I got like nine levels. What did you say? At least we know they're in there now. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Uh, see you later. That was fun. Thank you.